Hello, welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe! Press LR. Okay. I can story, do that. missions, side stories, bingo battle. Meanwhile, a certain to take a challenge. Meanwhile, collect fruits and creatures. Meanwhile, take a challenge and aim for a medal. Meanwhile, a certain duo is hard at work on an important mission. You should be talking here, shouldn't you? After you beat the game. By the way, when you start this game, like, brand new file, it on you only have the ability to start the game immediately. But after you beat the game, you're allowed to choose three different uh, post-game content. I don't call it a comeback. He's been here for years. We have Olimar's comeback, which is an epilogue. We'll be doing that after we do Olimar's assignment. This is the prologue that led into the events of Pikmin 3. The yes. prologue. I am here on another mission. The epilogue. See you later, bitches. Peace. Later. I actually do like how these start. Garden survey. Question one. Do you have a garden? It's a remarkably deep voice he has. I know, it's crazy. I've been to this planet twice before already. See, oh, I hate this planet. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what does he say off the record? <laughs> you don't want to know. There's a bunch of bleeps and everything. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Nobody truly knew what Olimar's voice sounded like until Pikmin 2, where you swap between the two captains and you hear them talk to one another. That's when you finally hear, Olimar, it's me, Olimar. Such a deep voice, it's great. Alright, here we go! Let's go! Now, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, the epilogue and the, uh, and the prologue content is a whole heck ton of the same that we've done throughout the entirety of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've, I've grown to expect that from Pikmin. It doesn't really evolve too much, I, I understand. The thing is, th the main reason I wanted to show this is because that survey assignment that you saw, mm -hmm. that was the forever lost content on Wii U brought back for this era. Oh, good. Those were the videos that you could unlock by finding the secret memos throughout the story. Is this what this era of gaming is? It's like the previous era of gaming. It's like everything was all digital, 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 digital. And then now that those uh, stores are shutting down, it's a matter of bringing it back to, to modern consoles on physical release. It, it's not that bad of an idea because I think you and I both thought that the Apollo Justice trilogy was going to be stuck on the 3DS graveyard forever. But look what happened. It actually showed up on the Switch, because everything's on Switch. Well, it's all at the whims of who's, whoever the owns the rights. I know, You can never I tell know. what's gonna happen, because there's plenty of games that Capcom could totally milk, but they haven't. I'm gonna give kudos to Nintendo, because this could have just been a straight port job with the old content added in, but they actually adjusted it. They made it feel a lot more like the eventual Pikmin 4. So it wasn't just, you know, rehash cash grab, it was... Uh, let's, let's, let's tweak this a little bit. Let's do this a little bit. Let's do this better. Experiment. Dick around. In between working on other games. <laughs> you know what? I could actually see Dick around on the company whiteboard. So, <laughs> you know, I, you know I, I wonder, you know, it's it's impossible to tell exactly how <laughs> Nintendo develops their games. It's, I know. it's a closely kept uh, secret, I'm sure. Oh, that'd be so cool. But you ever think that in between development, they, like, work on something? Like, uh, say that I'm that I'm working on Tears of, on uh, Breath of the Wild or whatever, yeah. and I come up with this badass rock texture. I'm like, dude, it looks fucking real. <laughs> the thing is, though, we have to tone down the resolution to make yeah, it fit yeah, in with yeah. the rest of the game. But hey, you know who would like this? The Pikmin Four team. Let me go run this down to Satoshi over in over at Four Three, and I'll see if he if, see what he can do. And then he goes like, Oh wow, yeah, 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 it's gonna this is gonna make level three really pop out. It's gonna it's gonna look great, you know. I would love to be a fly on the wall, just for like, a normal day of a Nintendo programmer. I would love to see that. Hopefully I wouldn't see things that would make me sad, like being overworked, but I think Nintendo's okay with that. They're not okay with that, sorry! Think, that was a slip of the tongue! I, I, I think it. They are, they have a good work environment. That's why people la last so long, you don't hear a lot of people being overworked. 
I know why crunch sounds good to an executive's ears. It's like, we can work the employees at maximum. Money and, and get, number go get, up. Yeah, that's right, but it's gonna drain the workers. You ever, see, you ever uh, do those business management tycoon sims? Where I see these little workers, you know, working away, <laughs> tapping <laughs> on the computers, or, or doing whatever. You can, like, click a button to make them work harder! And then when they do that, they look like a little meter goes down. <laughs> uh, let me guess, uh, either sanity or patience. The meter's been... I, I would believe both. I would say energy. Uh, energy, okay, that makes energy, sense, that but makes sense. You know, having been, I would, I've never worked in an office environment, but adjacent to one, you know, there are indeed crunch weeks. Mm -hmm. Like, uh... The week before an audit over at uh, Violet's uh, place that she used that, uh, that 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 they used to work at. Um, before they had like you know an audit, they'd have to like work really hard beforehand that week before to make sure everything's up to snuff. That was crunch week. Yep. You don't do that the entire time you work there though, not for everything. No 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 no. You got to make sure everybody's comfortable. Maybe you do a final push. Maybe there's like, oh, we really need to get this done. So hey, everyone, let's let's do it together, and then whatever, and then everyone will have like a four-day work week next week. Well, that's actually what uh, you know when a game is released and it said, oh, uh, let's say uh, we get an announcement uh, for the mysterious Pikmin Five. Wow, we got an we got Whoa, an announcement. What like the f the Metroid Prime Four is still not. <laughs> I was, yeah! about, I was about to say Metroid Prime 4, but I figured that would sting too much. No, but, uh, that stung more! Anyway. But, but uh, for example, let's just say Nintendo announces Pikmin 5, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, they announce that in February, and it's releasing in August. That is the quote-unquote crunch period, the, the finalization, the get-everything-ready, the print-onto cartridge, that type of thing. I've heard a rumor that Nintendo sits on games for a while. Well, and that's the other thing, because you see reports of, you, you know, a development is almost done. Who's to say it's not already done? Yeah. So, if anything, when I hear development's almost done, I hear ironing out bugs <laughs> and uh, final push before showtime. Because we all remember how Metroid Prime Remastered was announced. Little polish, little optimizations here and there. Oh, yeah. I've heard, I've heard they were sitting on Prime Remastered for, like, a, a while, but... You rumor anything, and it's implausible. Like, hey, I heard they were making a new Fire Emblem game that was gonna cross over with Star Fox. It was gonna be, <laughs> it was gonna be a crazy surprise drop at like in like June. It was gonna come out in like uh, early 2025 or something Holy like that. Holy shit! Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's holy it's, shit! Yeah, it's crazy. Apparently, they got uh, Dylan Cuthbert back on board. And is that the other guy who did Star Fox? I don't know. I, I thought that was his name. Guy from Argonaut. <laughs> Q games, whatever. <laughs> it's Star, it's Star Fox Assault 2. <laughs> this time it's good. This time. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned what the hell we're actually doing because it's fairly self explanatory. Olimar's mission is to. Same old bullshit, yeah, you know. Yeah, collect the treasures because the pre president is uh, greedy. But it's all the fruit that we've collected in the game. I was about to say the president is prejudiced. Mission complete. You're a little tongue tied today. So these are extremely lenient when it comes to grading. Basically, you get everything, automatic platinum. And then they just add more for a score that doesn't mean anything because you got the highest score. And then the president just goes ape. A measuring cup in the in the empty lake that is the debt. No, I just- I actually do love that the president just, like, when he sees you got 100% of the treasure, he goes, Whoa, pow down! Oh my god, look at this treasure man! President, how big is our debt? 52 factorial, you say? Oh yes, I've taken out a lot of loans! So we're gonna pay, we're gonna be paying off this debt long past the heat death of the universe and the next one. You're- you two are gonna work for me! FOREVER! You hear that, Olimar? We get to work oh, here God. forever! Forever! <laughs> you made it comically dark, and then you made it torture. <laughs> to be alone in eternity <laughs> with Louis! Cut to both of their skeletons har harvesting Pikmin and then getting strawberries. Now I know why those uh, skeletons and all those Souls games are so mad. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is when he found the cosmic drive key. Don't! Beast. 
too lucky. Why is he always so lucky? Come on. Pikmin could do with the dramatic shock death, right? Come on. No, I didn't mean Alf! <laughs> there was actually a fourth member on their ship. Oh no! Dennis! No! And then Erica, and Fuchsia, and Gary, and Heimlich, and Isaac, and John, and Kyle. You just see them floating in space behind, behind the Drake. <laughs> oh no! That's so sad! For those of you who are watching Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and this is your first experience with Pikmin... Sorry. Let it be known that this mode that you're seeing right here comes back in a big bad way in Pikmin 4. Big bad way or big bad way? In a big bad way! Like big bad what's that? Bow, boom, boom, boom. It depends on if you like this type of stuff. Just know the word Dandori and I you'll be fine. I don't. You Dandori. You will Dandori. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Dandori. I, I, I Dandori. Dandori. Whale calls? <laughs> That's your best one. Let's go. <laughs> ah, you done Nori, yeah! <laughs> now, uh, one of the big aspects of Pikmin 4 is uh, how they show off the multiplayer mode during the main campaign. Mm -hmm. And it's this. Hmm. It's collecting. Uh, either collecting during a time limit or collecting against an opponent. That's what they're really showing off during those segments of the main game. Implement the multiplayer into the main game so people get familiar with it, and then when they actually play against other players, there you go. And, yeah, this is a huge example of it. I think this is probably what led them to that fascination of Dandori. But what is Dandori? Oh, I guess I'll find out later. Won't Basically, I? collect all the shit. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I thought this always was. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in a specific amount of time, they, they're mainly wanting you... If you're a freak like me and you go for perfection, that's what Dandori is asking of you. If you just want to beat the thing, just beat the thing. It's fine. You don't have to get a platinum, but if you want that platinum on your profile, you just gotta do it! Just do Dandori, damn it! Do the Dandori? Do the Dandori. It's like, like I, I don't know, this game just doesn't mesh for me, and that's perfectly fine. No, that's perfectly fine. You know, I think Pikmin 4 is going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I ha I've been deliberately kind of staying away from it already. I noticed there's a camera change, which I think is going to be crucial. It is so good. <laughs> so, like, it's it, it's the difference between uh, tank controls in Resi 3 and uh, behind the camera in Resi 4. Yep. That's a, that's a very good way to put it. I don't know if that's going to be enough to get me on board, but... Oh, it doesn't have to be. That's, it... a, that's enough to, to get me more on board. Like, maybe I'll, I'll show up at the ticket line, and maybe I'll be on board. Maybe if like if I invited you to the show, and it's just like, I'll even buy your ticket. Just just come to the show with me. It'll be cool. It'll be fun if we go to the show together. That's basically what I'm, what I'm bringing you along for. It's just like, hey, check out this game I'm actually good at. <laughs> when do we ever do that? Oh, fucking never. <laughs> How many years have we been doing this? 11 that's, years? That's, it's just... not what we, that's not what we do. <laughs> By the way, I think we're on 12 this February. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only now getting to Pikmin 3? What a chip! This game has been out for years! It's been out since when we started. Oh! I know! I was just piecing it together! I had to do the math! Ah! That's nuts! Oh my god, what is the passage of time? Huh. Anyway. <laughs> How are you today? I'm just having a crisis. Well, I was talking about games that just, you know, like, like I said, this this game doesn't mesh with me. I don't know if it ever will. It's just, but, but, but that's fine, because I've been playing a game that I don't know how it would have meshed with me otherwise. Uh, you ever heard of the Mana series? Yeah, yeah, I, heard, I saw you playing Mana. I've been pl so, uh, I got some, uh, free C uh, Mana games from PlayStation Plus. I think they're on the the free yeah, pet yeah. game pass whatever equivalent. I picked up the Secret of Mana remake. Eh. Hmm? Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. It's, 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 it's pretty jammed. 
I don't, I don't know. It's 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 yeah. it's 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 the uh, 3D not 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 the greatest. It's kind of weird when you're fully animated and fluid, and everyone else is kind of stiff and all that. UI Jake. I, I don't know. Not for me. I tried to play this game like three times already, and I just can't get into it. But then I tried L the Legend of Mana remake. There you go. And it's doing it for me. Hell yeah. It's absolutely obtuse as hell. Uh -huh. And there's no way anybody could figure any about it out. And there's barely any story. It is literally just 67 oh. side quests all in a row. <laughs> but I'm so intrigued. I'm so on board with this. You're doing it. You're doing it. I, th I think it's just because of the aesthetics. And I really, I really dig the art style. Mm -hmm. I, like, I really like the art style. I mean, that's all it takes for some games where I'm just like, that looks cool. And then, I, I'm in. At least for the opening show, I'm in. Whether I stay for the end of the show, that's uh, to be seen. So, I, so uh, there's, there, there's no way anyone could have uh, enjoyed Legend of Mana without a guide. It's impossible. Because, like, the playthroughs are all different. You get these artifacts, you put them on a map where you put them is, like, different, and you have to, like, place them. It's like, you're building the world map as you play, and that determines what quests you get. Oh, dear. And you can only place certain artifacts in certain places, and you can only place artifact like, you have to pick a section of this bigger world map, and it's, it's really complicated. I'm, go I'm going for a platinum run because I'm playing the PlayStation 4 remake. I have to I have to go home after every side quest, talk to my little cactus dude in my room, and then go downstairs. And then he comes to life and then writes in his journal about it. And I have to do that after every single quest. Nice for for a trophy. Good luck. So uh, one thing I want to mention: you see that giant thing we just killed the. 10, soon to be 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, I did see a fight going on. I, there is one thing that I completely forgot to mention that is... I believe it's new, because Ooh. in the older games, those monsters would be dispatched by going after their legs. That was their weak point. Mm -hmm. You can actually stun them now by tossing Pikmin in their eyes. Oh! They actually go, what the fuck? And then they, they're they stunned for a little bit, so they can't go in for the kill. Is the world ready for a T-rated Pikmin game? No! <laughs> I don't think they are. Real life decay. <laughs> you actually see Pikmin ripped in half as they're eaten. Oh, little maggot Pikmins. <laughs> there are ghost Pikmin now. Hmm. Maybe you can catch the ghosts and they turn into like a little, little like wormies hmm. after you, after the day. Then you feed them to things that you catch. So instead of them becoming materials, you use them to bring your Pikmin back. There were the Boldmen that were basically. Pikmin that took over the body of a bulborb. Parasitic Pikmin. Louie, let's play God. <laughs> Olimar, no! That was a pretty good Olimar, actually. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I, I hear the deep voice, and uh, for him not going crazy, not going postal and murdering everyone who's ever come in contact with because he's been betrayed by everyone he's ever known. <laughs> He must, he must be a jolly fellow, then. Oh, you know, <laughs> takes everything on the chin. You know, stiff upper lip and all that. One other thing I should mention. If you want a better time on these, just, you know, for bragging rights, basically shoot for the treasures only. You don't have to bring the corpses of the enemies back. That's mainly to build up your numbers. So as soon as you think you have enough Pikmin to finish up getting all the treasures, just go for it. Muttering to himself when he thinks no one is around? He might be a bit of a psychopath. I thought Olimar would have known this because Pikmin 2 is still canon in this game. In this trilogy, Pikmin 2 still happened. Olimar knows that the King of Bugs tried to attack him and kill him and the president. It's still a thing. So... He has tenure, we can't fire him. Oh see. god, he's the only other employee I've got. Please he, don't get rid of him. He has seniority, so... So does Olimar, he deserves better. <laughs> <laughs>